All right, we're going to take a look at how to run this competitor analysis SERP heat map and get a similar output to this right here uh, that helps us understand who are our top organic competitors, uh, what's their coverage look like, their average position based on uh, the target set of keywords. Uh, so let's hop out of here. Uh, if you're following the blog, the first thing you need to do is set up the programmable search engine. Uh, this help you set up your custom search engine uh, and you need the um, search engine ID from here. Uh, so programmable search engine.google.com. Uh, it's also linked up in the blog. And once you go here, you may have to set up an account, uh, but if you already have an account, you can just click add, uh, give your search engine a name, test search engine, test search, uh, set this to search the entire web. Select that you're not a, not a robot and go ahead and click create. Uh, from there, you'll get your search engine ID uh, right here. You can see it, but you can also click customize and uh, that'll show you your search engine ID there that you can copy. Uh, the next uh, place, um, and make sure to copy this down so you have it on a notepad uh, for e easy and quick reference here. Uh, the next place you wanna go is developers.google.com backslash custom dash search. Uh, this will bring you to the custom search API uh, for us to set up our custom search engine. Uh, so you'll click here to get a key um, and it'll set this up for you and you can create a new project or use a, a existing project. So I'm just going to create a new project. Uh, project. Click next. And then this is going to set up the project for us. And then this will output the um, API key that we'll need to copy here. Let's give this a second, click, and that'll show us our API key. Uh, and we can go ahead and copy that. Uh, now that we have that uh, all taken care of, we'll want to use uh, the Google, Google Co Colab notebook uh, that's attached in the blog post. Uh, go ahead and make a copy of that and update the name or, or you can keep the same name on there um, and we'll be using that for to run this. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is install the libraries and import them. Uh, Pandas and Adver tools. so we'll go ahead and run that. Uh, this will go ahead and install the Adver tools library and then import Pandas and Adver tools uh, so we can run the rest of this competitor analysis. And this can take a moment. All right. Uh, that successfully ran through there. Uh, the next uh, piece of code we're going to run here is where we'll add the keywords we want to analyze in this first area, uh, and then your search engine ID that you copied down and your custom search API key. Uh, if you're following the blog, it shows you exactly where to add that, uh, but that's all right here. You'll copy and paste in your keywords separated by commas, um, and then your search engine ID and your custom API key. So we'll go ahead and run the SERP rankings variable, um, which uses the and just view the uh, top 25 results of our data frame using the head function. Uh, perfect. That's what we want to see. We can see um, the different positions they're ranking in, the keywords, uh, as well as the different domains that are ranking in these uh, positions for the keywords. All right. I'm going to go ahead and export this to CSV. Uh, that will bring this over here uh, so you can download this file straight to your computer so you have that for reference. And then we're going to read back in the CSV file with this next line of code. Now that we have SERP export read in, we're going to go ahead and create the SERP heat map 
run the function to create this repeat map. And down here, for the final piece of code, we're going to run the repeat map function. So we're going to call this repeat map function and pass in our data frame df. Uh, and this will go ahead and visualize out our competitor analysis for us. So let's go ahead and run this. Uh, great. Just as expected, uh, we can see our competitor analysis has successfully ran of the repeat map. And we can identify who's ranking uh, really the top performing competitor in the space, uh, as well as, you know, their coverage, the total times they're appearing for this set of keywords and, and much, much more. Uh, so this is, should be very helpful uh, when you're digging into any of your SEO competitor analysis. Cheers.